Hey there, my friends, Mike here. You know, if you are like me and you do a lot of work in Articulate Presenter, it is not uncommon to have a slide or multiple slides with a lot of objects on them that are animating in one after the other. And so typically what you do is you import your audio and you use the sync animation tool to get them all synced up. And then you come, you think, gosh, let's take a look and see how that's working. And so we come on over here, we click our preview button and we're going to preview how this looks. Let me turn the audio down on that there. And so you see I've got 41 seconds here, and I've got these objects animating in over the course of 41 seconds. Long slide, right? Well, what happens if little Mr. Koala Bear, there you are, little Mr. Koala, what if he, I decide, is coming in at the wrong time? I'd like him to come in a little bit earlier or later. You'll see he's coming in at about the 17-second mark. Well, what I would typically do in the past is I would come back and I'd go to my sync animations and I would resync the entire slide. Now, that is eight animations, that's 41 seconds that I have to go through and wait to animate through, plus the save time. That's a lot of time and if you're busy on a project that you're wasting, when all you want to do is just change and adjust one animation. Well, how do you do that? Well, here's a quick way. What you're going to do is this. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my selection pane here, and I'm going to see, all right, he is picture number seven. Okay, Mr. Koala is picture number seven. Because I'm going to go to my animation pane. Okay, my animation pane, there you are. And I see that he is coming in, he's number five in order, so he is the fifth animation, okay? And that's really what I want. I want what number animation is he coming in? Number five, that's where he comes in. Because what we're going to do on our Articulate tab, we are not going to resync the animation, we're going to go to our audio editor. When the audio editor opens up, you'll see all of your slides in your project. In this one, I've only got one, so it's pretty easy. But what I can do is this, you see these little knobs up here, if you, Put your little mouse over, you'll see picture three, picture four, picture five, picture six, <gasps> picture seven, the fifth animation, picture seven. These little points here, these are indicating when the animation is taking place. So what I can do is I can take and adjust it right here. I can say I wanted him to come in a second later or a second earlier, maybe much later. Maybe I wanted him to come in at about the 18 and a half second mark. All I have to do is adjust it like that, click save. It's going to update the presentation for me. Now when I come and preview the slide again, little Mr. Koala should come in at around the 18 and a half second mark. Let's go take a peek and see if that is the case. And it will be, because I've done it before. Let me take it. And at about the 18 and a half second mark, there he is. He's coming in. And now instead of spending all of that time going through and doing the resyncing of the entire slide, all you have to do is go into your audio editor, grab that particular animation that you want to adjust, move it forward or backwards to where you want it to be, and click Save. Huge time saver when you're working with multiple slides and Articulate Presenter with a lot of objects that are animating in and syncing with the audio. Big, big time saver. All right, if you have any other questions about this or any other Articulate tools, come on over to the eLearning Heroes forums at Articulate.com, and we will do our best to help you out. Take care.